It's called Heja Farm. Hey. Oh. Oh, look at that tongue. You guys make all the milk, huh? It's really good. They're free. Okay, everyone, right behind me is the rare Mi Jong Cow here in Taiwan. Hello, Taiwan, and hello, Zhanghua City. My name is Logan Beck, Xiao Bei, and today, today's gonna be pretty fun. It's gonna be pretty exciting. I'm just going to show you. Look at this. Whew. Cows? <laughs> that is right, guys. Today I am at a farm. It's called Hejia Farm. So I'm gonna have lots of fun here. This is up in Changhua City. It's up in the mountains. Nice, beautiful, fresh air. And at night you can get a wonderful view of Taichung and Changhua City. Now there's live music, there's ice cream cones, and there's cows. But yes, it kind of stinks. Anyways, but there's lots of things going on, and it's just a nice, fun evening that I'm going to enjoy with you guys. So I want to go check out this place, see what this place has, and uh, maybe you guys can come here one day too. But uh, man, there are a lot of things, so let's go check it out. What's up? What's up? No? So far this experience here at this farm has been pretty great. I've actually made quite a lot of new friends. Hey, what's up guys? So, this place is loaded with cows. Um, this is one section, they've got a whole other section, and there's lots of cows. I believe lots of these cows are milk cows. Um, if you look at this, right up there, that is the brand. Right there, milk. All from you guys. You guys make all the milk, huh? Heck yeah. So, I'm a fan of milk, so I am very grateful for this beautiful, woo, for this beautiful cow and all their fabulous milk. But uh, yeah, this is actually really nice. There's not met, there's not too many people here, and you can just walk right up and you can pet the cows. Wait, come here. Whoa, they're so big. But you can just come up here and you can see all the cows and have a really fun experience. So um, I heard there's a lot more places. It gets beautiful down the street. I want to check a few of that out, but I am a man that loves nature. I love animals, and for me to be able to come here and get this close to nature, this close to animals, means a lot to me. Especially where I come from, Utah, where there's lots of farms, lots of cows. This is, this is so fun. Hey, buddy. Hey. Whoa, that's, whoa. That's a big tongue. Okay, guys, let's, uh, let's head off and let's see what else this place has. Loaded with cows, there is a stink factor. <laughs> there is more parts of this uh, farm. There's a few more parts, but the gates are locked. So I'm gonna see if I can get in, but I am not sure. So we'll see. I mean, look at this. No! What is this? I read online that it's open from 6 30 in the morning to 6 30 at night. It is about, my watch is broken, 4 14 right now, um, but. That's probably why, because they're going close soon. I don't know though. So it looks like there's a lot of stuff back there. It looks pretty nice, pretty beautiful. As well as I saw that there was a place to see where they milk the cows. And I would love to see that, because I love milk. And me, Jan. Anyways, but uh, yeah, so we'll have to see what we can do. This is it. I have made it to the milking station. It's right here, check it out. Oh yeah, so. There we go. Oh, this is pretty exciting to see. This is my first time actually ever seeing cows get milk. I am stuck behind a fence, so I don't know if I'll be able to get a closer look. But um, I'll ask if I can get a closer view. Hey, abu alaisi. Okay, cow jini sha pai ma. Come to play. 
I just got permission to get inside and to see a little bit of how this actually works when they milk the cows. So we've got the cows right here and right there with the pit in the middle where they are milking. So this is actually really cool. They have these machines connected to the cows that are milking. And if you look right here, come on, focus. Oh, they're free. Oh. Oh. They let the cows free while I was filming. I didn't want to be attacked. It seems like they just got a line full of cows back there, so they'll milk them, let the cows go out, and bring in the next line. So this is really neat. This is this is awesome. Wow. So there you guys. I, well, there you go. I think all of you guys now know how cows are milked. This is this is cool. Dio. Milk ice cream. This is milk actually used from the cows that we just saw. I'm excited to dip into it. Well, look at how bing. Woo. But that is good. This is a nice, smooth, fresh served ice cream. So if you come here, you can check out the cows, you can check out the milk, and then you can have it in a frozen form of beautiful, beautiful ice cream. This is a kind. One of their more normal kind of ice cream. So let's uh whew, look at this. Beautiful. Wow! Hey! This is especially creamy and it's got a really rich ice cream flavor. This is actually really good, like I mean it's kind of hard, but it's really good. Everyone, right behind me is the rare Mi Dong Cow here in Taiwan. This is okay, guys. I can't. These guys just have milk. They're not Mi Dong Cows. Hey, you know what Mi Dong is? <laughs> I don't think he knows what Mi Dong is. <laughs> that was the stupidest thing. Today's small little adventures here at this fun little farm, Hejia Mu Chang, Hejia Farms, was actually really fun. I love nature and I love animals, and it was a great experience just to come here. Now this place is really small, super, super small. As I said before, there was a big area. People are not allowed to go there anymore, so we didn't get the chance to do that. But otherwise, this is just a fun, small place. It's free to come to, and it's something fun to do over the weekend with your family. We've got live music, we've got ice cream, and we've got Mijang cows. No, just kidding, they're milk cows. But the best thing about today is the weather. It is no longer the summer in Taiwan anymore. That means all the crazy heat, the super warm summer, super hot summer here in Taiwan is done. I mean, look at this. I'm wearing pants. I am wearing pants again and shoes and it feels so good. The temperature has finally dropped and it is amazing. Anyways, guys, today's adventures were fun. I love going around and seeing all the great places here in Taiwan. May, now, this may have not been one of the biggest, most extravagant things I've done, but I love going to the small little places. That's what makes Taiwan fun, is there's just a lot of them. Okay, guys. Well, thanks for joining the adventures. If you're new, hit that subscribe button. I go lots of places, big places, small places, huge events, small events. On all of them, I want to take you guys with me. And I think you guys all know the drill. Until next time, I'll see you and the cows in Taiwan. I've got to go, okay? Mm. <laughs> Guys, I want to say goodbye. Hey! I guess they don't want to say goodbye to me. Okay, guys, well, it was nice meeting you. Um, we'll meet you next time. Okay, see ya! <laughs>